Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Daniel aka Hashlips and welcome to my channel. We've got Jesse here today with me from Codestacker. You've seen him on my channel before and I brought him here to share some cool news. So not a lot of people know this and a lot of the community members know this on the NFT space, but Sketchy Ape Book Club, my NFT collection just got verified. And it's like this very sweet situation. But today, Jesse, I want to ask you something. With everything happening right now, I mean, what do you think about the crypto market in general and NFTs? What's your feel on what's happening currently? Yeah, you know, I mean, there's a lot happening right now. But first of all, congratulations. That's that's a big accomplishment to be verified. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's amazing. <laughs> um, the, uh, the crypto market, yeah, there, there's so much going on right now. Um, but if you look around there there are, are basically there's these ones that are kind of falling away but there's one the other ones that are still uh, holding strong and and so that's kind of what happens in any market where you know a lot of people kind of get into the market and then eventually some are going to start falling away and not everything is going to last but you're going to be able to see which ones are going to last and which ones to stick with uh, i don't think the nft market is going away at all um, I think it's actually going to explode and, and become even better over time. Um, again, I kind of go back to that same conversation as NFTs shouldn't be viewed as only images because that is not what an NFT really is. I mean, that is what it's being used for right now. That's what most people think of when they think of an NFT, but there are so many other use cases for NFTs. So I definitely don't, I don't think that the crypto, um, blockchain nfts none of that is going to go away ever you know when we got the blue tick i was like so excited and the thing is for the first time it actually felt i know it's weird you know it's weird we got a we got a blue tick and now i feel validated you know, as an nft creator but it's it's not that it's just <laughs> because so much work has been gone into uh, our community you know our collections that we've been making and you know obviously with this crypto kind of um, dive that we're seeing uh, being instigated by a lot of other factors in, in the world right now. Um, obviously, what we are talking about is our own personal opinion, guys. So just keep that in mind. We're not financial advisors. But yeah. I 100% agree with you, uh, Jesse, that the NFT space isn't going anywhere. And it's going, just going to get bigger and better. And uh, more contracts are going to be created. That kind of betters the lives for different people, different situations. And innovation is going to take place constantly in the space right now. Uh, yes, we see it as NFTs, as images, myself being an artist, you know, I appreciate the fact that I can have a global audience with, with NFTs right now. Um, but something interesting that I've seen is with this dive, NFTs were kind of looking like they're going to dive, but they didn't really. And they just kept on holding their value. And yeah, of course, certain ones fell, you know, fell through the cracks. And, uh, but you can really see that some NFTs really hold on to their value, uh, even if there's some rough patches that they go through. So I thought that's an interesting, interesting concept. And we've spoken about this before, the utilities uh, beyond NFTs, like, you know, in different industries and so on. And uh, for me, what stood out, and what you just mentioned now, is the fact that they actually didn't lose a lot of value uh, in this time. Um, would you say that is a good sign that this is a potential stay forever? Yeah, I mean, I, I think that uh, especially with this this huge dip and everything that's going on right now, to see NFTs, you know, still holding strong and, and go, making it through this, and that's definitely a sign that they're not going to go away. Yeah, I, it, you know, we could be wrong, we could be right, who knows, but at least it's nice to be in the space and yeah. seeing that, you know, these things are stable. And, um, you know, people believing in NFTs enough to uh, keep holding them and keep holding on to them as valuable objects, you know, and seeing it as a, a piece that they really own, a digital asset that they really own. And I think we, we really geared up in, in the space now for metaverses to take place and uh, people really getting used to the fact that if you play a game, you know, that suit that you have, you can actually own it. Or that thing that you see in the metaverse, you can actually physically own it as mm -hmm. well uh, or digitally own it. Um, 
you know, and I think the next phase of this whole thing would be going into the metaverse. And uh, I mean, we're so small right now. There's not a lot of people in this space, but once the world catches on, I think you and I are going to see a big, big increase. How many people do you think is going to join? I think that the numbers are going to continue to increase every year. Uh, there, there's so many, um, there's there's so many people in the world, and so many haven't experienced uh, any of this. And so, yeah, I th I think eventually everyone in the world is going to own an NFT at some point, uh, so, of some type, at least. That's quite interesting. I mean, that's a lot of people, a lot of NFTs, and and if that is the case, mm -hmm. like I think we're in a very good market. Uh, we're in the right space right now, right here, the beginning of it all. I think uh, this is a golden opportunity for us as creators, as content creators, to educate people as well in this space and look back at our videos and say, well, you know that time where we said it was so small? Was it not so small anymore? So to end this video off, JC, thank you so much. Uh, what is your advice for people getting into NFTs, maybe wanting to get their first NFT? Well, I'm, I mean, again, not financial advisors, but definitely do your research. You know, you know, if you're going to buy into a community, do your research, know that the community is, is strong and stable um, and, and you're not going to get rug pulled or something like that. So do your research before you invest your money in anything. Great advice. Absolutely. Um, and thank you so much, JC, for being on here. I love to always talk to you. So until next time, thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Cheers for now.